Hey, I'm Brandon, joined here by my buddy Pat. Today we are checking out the Revit Tracer Air 2 Overshirt. So obviously this is going to be something that is a bit more on the casual side of the spectrum. You can wear this comfortably off the bike around town, and I think it's going to be better suited for the riders out there utilizing this in the urban environment. And hence the name Tracer Air, this thing is going to flow a lot of air for you because it has a mesh main construction. You've got some C-Smart armor in there. You've got some additional PWR reinforcement. We'll get into all the nitty gritty details in just a a moment. Before we do, I do want to take a second and talk about the overall fit. So I've got Pat here. He's about six feet tall, 220 pounds with a 44 inch chest, currently wearing a size extra large. The XL fits him spot on. So I'd recommend you do the same. Get your measurements, reference a chart, and you should be all set. You're going to find three different color options in this over shirt, and you've also got a price point right at 300 bucks. I think it's up about $20 from the original uh, Tracer Air over shirt. So it will ship to you for free. Now, starting right here at the top, the collar we've got the snaps there so you can keep that pinned down while you're riding if you're riding you know with a bit more speed those tend to flap around it is incredibly uncomfortable so I like that they've given us the snaps there as we work our way down the shoulder one thing to note you're not only going to get C level uh, excuse me CE level 1 C smart armor underneath the shoulder as well as the elbow you've also got some additional PWR uh, 2.0 reinforcement underneath there it's kind of this white material it shows up a little bit in the sunlight some of the lighting you can kind of see a little bit of it but the point is you've got Got some additional reinforcement in these areas that are prone to impact. So again, see smart armor underneath there. It is very comfortable. It looks like so. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it moves very well with the body, incredibly breathable. And that's one of the biggest benefits of this overshirt is because it is going to flow a ton of air, but give you a little bit of an edge when it comes to the protection that it's providing. So as we work our way down the arm, very straightforward. You can see it looks like your traditional shirt, but it, it is that mesh material here. Uh, more of that see smart armor right there at the back of the elbow, very straightforward at the cuff. We've got two top loading pockets there with a single snap to close them up, very straightforward and very simplistic in the overall design right there at the chest all the way down to the waistline. But this is all mesh. All of this is mesh. You've got that additional reinforcement on the sides of the arms, but otherwise airflow is going to be moving through this bad boy pretty easily. Pat, go and face that direction for me, sir. Strike that riding position. Yes, sir. No additional, you know, gussets or stretch material in the shoulders. I always ask for that every time, and I'm going to keep saying it because it just makes it more comfortable in the riding position. So I wish we had a little bit of that. I do like a little pop of blacked out reflectivity. So if some lights hit you from behind, just giving you that extra touch of safety, but it's not over the top. It's something you can wear, you know, casually uh, off of the bike and very comfortably. So otherwise, very straightforward on the sides. We've got a little bit of a gusset here just to give you some expansion so it falls uh, over your body more naturally. Pat, go ahead and face the back for me, sir. Very straightforward on the back. This is actually a PWR kind of rip stop material. You can see kind of that grid pattern in there. So if something tears on the back, it shouldn't just completely unthread everything there. So I, I do enjoy seeing some of that rip stop material incorporated. We could have used a little bit more throughout the overshirt, but I think that would have taken away from a, a bit of the style overall. Otherwise, very straightforward on the back, uh, just more mesh. No back protector is included, but of course you have a pocket on the inside. You can throw in that back protection if you wish to do so. Back, go ahead and face the front. Let's open this bad boy up. Take a quick look here on the inside. You've got a button and zipper as the main entry. Pretty straightforward there. And then we kind of have this more mesh material on the inside, just creating a little bit of a boundary between the overshirt and your skin, which is always nice just to help circulate a little bit of that airflow. Some additional stash pockets there on the left. And then you do have a short connection zipper as well as some belt loops. So you can pair this up with a set of Revit riding jeans if you wish to do so. That's going to help you know eliminate any gaps you might have between your overshirt and your jeans which will help with overall safety. Pat, you can go ahead and zip that bad boy up. I think for riders utilizing something like this in an urban environment, it's just going to give you a little bit of additional protection, but it's still incredibly casual. It's still going to flow a ton of air, especially when it's 90 degrees outside, the sun's blaring down on you, and you're going from one stoplight to the next. Something like the Tracer Air 2 Overshirt could be a great option for you if you're just zipping around town and running errands. But if you have any additional questions, click that info button. That's going to take you over to the product page, or you can take a closer look at this see some of the other color options. And as always, if you have any questions about this particular overshirt or any other gear you might be looking at, please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They are all there. They're all riders. More than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with Pat and I and taking a closer look at the Revit Tracer Air 2 overshirt. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.